all this while in my head, you have lied to me. You have made me feel like this girl is a mad person. She'll literally see both of us outside and give me an attitude. Obviously because of you. I'm not, going to be, I'm not going to be a part of your mess. Please let me finish. Hurry up, girl. You're taking too much time. But you will let me finish, right? Hurry up. Or more, the rate at which this big brother Niger housemate, this lockdown set, the rate at which they slept with themselves, say, eh? more. <laughs> and we are just finding out all these things in the reunion. Like, there's a lot of secrets that has been spilling in this reunion. Hey okay, guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Vicky. If you're seeing me for the very first time, hi, please, please, please consider to hit on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to turn on your bell notification so that YouTube will always inform you whenever I bring you gist like this. Oh, guys, tonight was just all about the triangle, or should I not call it square, that happened between Dorothy, T-Badge, and Prince. You guys, we never knew. We never knew. If not for reunion, if they were not doing this reunion, for no, no, this whole Jesus just happened now. That T Badge and Prince actually got intimate. Now, yeah, what be that? They no call anyone who know. They say they got intimate. You understand? And I was like, <laughs> you guys, okay. Ebuka was just asking Dorothy the whole drama that was happening. What happened between what made this the the Prido ship to sink? Or so we are thinking that it has sunk, has it sunk, or what is really going on. And then Dorothy was just explaining that herself and Prince had a conversation. I think that conversation came just because this reunion was going to happen, you understand? So they had a conversation that, they had a, no, they started with trying to close as in cover of the conversation. They didn't want to tell us what the conversation was you understand and then to some point Dorothy now said that they had a conversation and maybe prince told her that he got intimate with t badge and dorothy was angry dorothy blocked prince in every angle whatsapp instagram snapchat tiktok wherever she is every social media platform she blocked him his number and all that i think she was pain she was angry and um, feeling like Prince did not tell her this thing. And the funny part about this whole thing is that Prince and Dorothy are still denying. That they are taking us for a fool. They are still denying that they are just friends. And Ebuka just think, was thinking what I was thinking. That, okay, if you're saying you guys were just friends, why is it that Prince confessing that he has he had something to do, something intimate with T-Bad, such a problem to you? And I'm like... My guy, you get them because I don't understand. I'm not supposed to tell somebody, especially an opposite sex, that I'm just friends with. It's not a composition, it's not necessary, it's not a must, it's a choice because she is just or he or she is just a friend, like we are 10 minutes. So that should not okay. If my friend told me, or if I told my friend, I don't see it like it should be a reason for our relationship to go sour you understand of our relationship to break up that's if we don't have if they are trying to maintain that it was just friendship i just felt like maybe she felt that okay they had something to do they had they got intimate and she doesn't want to get herself involved or she felt used because this their whole kenya thing ghana thing the other one thing they were traveling together doing couple goals and all that <laughs> are you not thinking what i'm thinking no, put my mouth to go here. Yeah, something actually happened that is now paining Dorothy that Prince had to confess because he felt like that will come that will come up during the re reunion. You understand? So Ebuka was like asking T Badge. So what really happened? And then T Badge was like, they came out, they they had something to do, but they had a problem when she found out that on the last Saturday night party, that all white party, that Prince and Lilo kissed and i'm like ah, nah, these people eh, let's say they like doing past no not past me don't even think it <laughs> it's like they like this knocking more than any other thing and she was angry they said she was she said they were inside the bus and she was sitting right in front of them we were sitting behind her and just for she to turn she saw them kissing and she got up and left you understand and she was angry even though prince also explained that when they came out we had um we saw that video that tolani badge hugged and kissed the prince that people were thinking that oh they are they i think they i think that they had a conversation that they are just friends they're still working it out i'm like henceforth when we go on interviews say we're just friends 
so that everybody just moves on with their life. You get, I did that, she never did that. She still used to go on her Instagram lives and stuff and say, oh, welcome all my pre-batch followers, this, 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 saying pre-batch stuff and all of that. And I remember I used to call her and I'd be like, there's no pre-batch. Now you're lying. Don't do that. I guess friends with benefits that made them go down on each other, you understand? So that was just it. And Prince was like, she has been telling T-Badge to forget about this pre-badge um, thing that they are not a couple, they are just friends. But she feels like, he feels like T-Badge was catching, was enjoying the whole thing because him, he was like, because his whole family, his whole friends, his whole whatever, whatever, that they were just against his relationship with T-Badge, though he was, that the girl is a snitch or the girl is not loyal or something like that. And he was like, okay, I have to hear from her. We have to, we need to have a conversation. They had a conversation about that new thing that happened in the house. And they now come, came to a conclusion where Prince was like, he doesn't want to be in a relationship that they should just be friends. Though I felt like Tolani Bad really, really liked the guy. She really, really liked the guy. So she could not just settle with the just friends something. So she wanted to take it for that, you understand? And then Tiba was like, yes, they had something. They, you know, they made out and she did not even enjoy it to, because of how Prince was carrying him. So I bet make here and balance. The intimacy happened because I was feeling Prince at the time and I 100% regret it. And it was whack, by the way. I really, I really expected more from somebody that carries a shoulder like this. You should have impressed me, but you didn't. Okay. She said because of how Prince was carrying himself, he expected much. I don't understand why these girls will will knock these guys and still come to come and want to call them five minutes guys or want to come and fold their hands. Or more, you enjoy them. You say nobody say you won't just hype yourself. If you're not come they fold the guy hand, you understand? Because if you were disappointed, you would have told him the guy, or more, I'm disappointed though. You did not even last. Abby? That's what they should have done, you know, and the whole back and forth was just coming and Dorothy was like, she does not want to put herself in that situation. In fact, we got to a, a, a situation where um, Ebuka was like, so what was the problem between Dorothy and T-Badge? T-Badge was like, Dorothy, um, Dorothy's fans were calling, were coming at her back to back, back to back, back to back. And Dorothy was like, T-Badge's fan came to call her husband snatcher and they didn't really got her peace you know and t -Badge was always attacking her fans that like they were always quarreling you understand and she did not feel the need to get herself into that situation because it was just between t -Badge and her fans not she was feeling like it wasn't directed at her you understand and then our Tolani Badge our Watoni actually had something to say that it is unfair for Prince to be playing the boat ladies and I just feel that completely Prince Web was playing these boat ladies like seriously because he, from what t -Badge was saying is that Prince is doing all this predoting with um, Dorothy and he's still you know like keeping her on the side too and still coming back to her and not still making her feel like they are like, a thing you understand I don't understand though Prince was still denying the fact that it's not true we were never a thing we we're just friends you understand because even before all the shenanigans that Prince what you guys remember now on social media I've been already followed them that Prince bought flowers and gifts for Dorothy he actually spoke with Solani Badge and they like he felt like there was something that was gonna happen the next day, you understand? Until that whole flower thing and gift thing that all happened. <sighs> These housemates are crazy, really, really. As in I'm not just the kind of things that they hear for this big brother and Nigeria reunion at this point. I think I will just end this video here because I need to digest it. Maybe I'll come back for the part two of this video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And please, please, please subscribe if you haven't turned on your bell notification. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.